Did you know that you can move all of your rocks in Animal Crossing New Horizons and make yourself a rock garden? Or maybe you've seen a picture of a rock garden somewhere and you want to know how to do it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move all the rocks into one location and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil and welcome back to the channel where I help you play awesome games. Be sure to hit the like button if you find this video helpful and I sure do appreciate the support. Now before we get started on the entire process, allow me to say a couple things that you will want to know before you get started. And these things are super important because moving rocks around your island is going to take a little bit of time and effort and you're likely not going to want to do it again. Number one is if you want to have a custom path underneath your rocks, such as dirt or sand, then you need to have the custom path placed down first before you get the rocks to spawn on top of it. Once you have your rock garden built, make sure that you don't eat any fruit and bust any of the rocks because if you do, you'll basically have to start the entire process over just to get that single rock to spawn back into the garden. And then number three is kind of focused around time travelers and non-time travelers. Just go at your own pace at this. If you don't want to do this all at one time, that's totally fine. You can still follow this process all the way through if you don't time travel, it's just going to take you a lot longer time to do it. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to find a permanent spot on your island somewhere to where you want your rock garden, and just make sure that it's a permanent spot to where you're not going to want to move it, or it's not going to get in, in the way of any future design adventures, because this process is going to take a little bit of time and effort, and you're not going to want to do it again, I can promise you, so just keep that in mind. Now there are a couple different designs that you can have for your rock garden. You could do a rectangular style, you could do a circular style, or maybe all of them in a single row. It's Honestly, it's really up to you. I do have some example layouts for you just in case you decide that you want to do something a little bit different than, than what I'm going to show you uh, how to do in this video. But basically, as long as the rock has eight spaces around it for where the resources would be laying, then the rocks will spawn and you'll be able to collect the resources very easily. Now, I personally wanted a circular style rock garden with a fence around it, so that's what I'll be doing in this video. So take your island designer tool and mark down a grid. Now for this example, I'm going to be marking down a huge square first with a rock pathway, and then I'll place down sand where I want the rocks to spawn. That way I can kind of visualize where the rocks are going to spawn, and I'm going to make sure that I have enough room, and that I like how the design is looking too. But remember the rocks will not spawn on hard surfaces, but will spawn on the softer surfaces such as sand and dirt. And something that I kind of want to reiterate here is make sure that you give your rocks enough room to spawn. During this process, I actually ran into an issue where I had to move my design around because the rocks were too close to each other. And then once you've got your design all set up and you're ready to go, then you can go to step two. Now step two is probably the easiest step of them all, and it's probably going to be the quickest too. So what you're basically going to do is find all the rocks and bust them. Now one thing I do want to kind of point out is you're going to want to gather the resources from them before you break them because you're likely not going to see them for quite a while. The game only allows a single rock to spawn per day, and since you're going to be busting them all in a single day, you won't see them return until after a full six days. So gather the resources from them, eat a piece of fruit, and then bust the rock. And once you've busted all the rocks, you're ready to go to step three. Now this step is the most tedious step, but let me give you a little bit of background as to what's going on and why you have to do this craziness. The game chooses a random location on your island to spawn the rocks. But these random locations have to meet certain criteria to spawn. The rocks cannot spawn in a location that is touching a river, it's touching a cliff, anywhere on the beach, adjacent to a tree, adjacent to a building, a hard path such as the stone pathway or the wood pathway, or anywhere that would not allow the player to collect all of the resources from it, which is why I was kind of telling you earlier to make sure that it has eight spaces cleared around the rock itself. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is that if you have a hard surface around the rock itself, since the resources coming from the rock can actually fall on that hard surface, it's okay to have the hard surfaces surrounding the rock. Alright, so with all that being said, let's get started. Now, since you know that the rocks can't spawn in those conditions that I mentioned above, we're basically going to cover the entire island with mannequins. We're going to make it so that the rock garden is the only location that the game is going to say, oh yeah, I can, I can totally spawn a rock there because it's open and nothing is in the way. Now there are three different ways that 
you can actually accomplish this task. You can place down a solid pathway everywhere. You can put patterns down everywhere, or you can use a mannequin to place down every few spots. And if you use the mannequin, it's really gonna help you on the next section, so be sure to stick around for that. Hey guys, if you're finding this video helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that support. So pick a corner of your island and get started. And placing down a mannequin is really easy, and I just want to make sure that you know how to do this. So all you need to do is open up your custom designs tool and then you can create or choose any pattern, select this play here and then select mannequin. Now I made a custom design that was just a big red block and you'll see why in the upcoming section. So be sure to stick around. Now you'll want to place down the mannequins two spaces apart from each other or at least two spaces apart from other solid objects. So basically it's the mannequin, two spots, and then another mannequin. And you can dig holes if you need to get the measurements down just right, but you'll soon get the hang of it. If you're unsure about the area, such as it, you know, it being near flowers or trees, just throw another couple mannequins down. It's not going to hurt anything. And then if you need to, just go crazy and get messy with the mannequins or any other items that you want to throw down on the ground. Okay, so if you're ready and you feel like you've placed down enough mannequins and you've filled up all the possible spawnable locations, then the next day you'll find a rock spawning within the rock garden. And then by day six, you should have all the rocks inside of your rock garden exactly where you wanted them to go. Now, if you happen to run into a situation where the rocks ended up spawning outside of the rock garden, then you probably know what you need to do. You're going to want to find out where the rocks spawned. You're going to bust it and then place a couple mannequins down in that area. And that way the rock can't spawn there again. And for me, I had the rock garden too close to a building and actually ended up moving my museum down a few spots so everything would fit properly. The little spots that I had chosen for the rocks to spawn at were actually too close to the museum and then the rocks wouldn't spawn there so just make sure that you have all the possible spawn locations covered with a mannequin and then be sure to build your rock garden away from all other objects to avoid those types of things. Now after about six days or so all of your rocks will have spawned inside of the rock garden and now it's time for cleanup and it's a super easy process. All you have to do is go back into the pattern design tool and change a single spot on the pattern that you were using. Save it and close it out and poof, all of the mannequins are completely gone and cleanup is super easy. And then the next part, I would recommend putting some fences behind the rocks so that whenever you hit them, you don't actually bounce back and you get the maximum resources. And now that you're all done making your rock garden, take a look at the video on the top left that shows you how to get a 5 star island, or the video on the bottom left to learn all the best ways of time travel. And if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe, but now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go finish decorating my rock garden.